welcome to Tech Network. Now, this is a, uh, I finally got a tripod um, after requests. I, oh yeah, ignore the ink. Um, that's when I was at school, you know, I just have ink on my hand. Ignore that, let's play my phantom pen. So, uh, today's the day where my calculator has finally arrived. Um, also, I promised um, a tripod video, but unfortunately, uh, I forgot about it, I was too excited and carried away for a tripod video. So, we were just gonna, you know, do this video instead. So, basically, what happened is I brought a £15 calculator. The calculator is from HP, and, you know, the HP Prime and all that stuff, that's pretty expensive, those calculators. So, £15 is a pretty great value. It's not a Prime, it's, um... Well, I actually forgot as well because I'm too excited. But I will have uh, an Im image of the calculator uh, on your screen right now. And uh, also, there was one review and it said, you know, it's too, you know, it looks, you know, it's too good to be true. And it actually looked like a legit product. Um, but we are going to actually, you know, have it right here. So we're going to actually have a look at it on video. So here it is, this is it, um, not the actual calculator, it says calculator there, uh, 5 USD, like what? And it says it's a document, well that's what I think it says, uh, a document, well that's probably because it, you know, it has, you know, like some paperwork and that stuff in it, uh, but anyway, let's, um, let's open it up and uh, let's see what it looks like for £15. So just know I am not good at opening this packaging. Uh, it's actually, I was, I'm very surprised at this really great packaging. Bubble wrap, which is actually very nice uh, to protect the item. So I don't think it comes with a box. Um, I don't think it actually comes with a box. I'll be very surprised if it does come with a box. This is so exciting. Okay, so here it is. And for some reason, the recording like corrupted and it like i don't know the camera app you know the camera just froze which is very weird but we we are here now we are here and we are unboxing this calculator well if it is a calculator it's here. So yeah apparently it's too good to be true it is too good to be true i'm not joking um we haven't even opened it yet this is a pretty tough packaging very surprised for it i am very surprised like the packaging is like very good, you know. Oh, yeah. And I'll be surprised if it comes with a box, but I don't think it does. Yeah, I can see there's no box, which is all right. Don't need it. And I can't see the calculator. I am legit excited. You probably can't even hear me. This is oh. Let's just hope it's not a scam because this is very exciting. It took ages for this thing to arrive and it's beautifully packed. Like very well packed, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's go this way. And okay, we'll just, we don't have to do that. It's, it's right here. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Um, I will check the serial number, um, you know. It's the HP logo. Uh, you probably can't see it, but that there's the HP logo. Holy gosh! I mean, HP.com forward slash calculators, and there it is. It's in its case. Oh, this is exciting. This is actually this is probably legit. Like. <laughs> oh, and also welcome to 2021. Uh, this is, I believe this is the first video in it? No, it isn't. Uh, the last video was the, um, the earbuds. Yeah, <laughs> that took a while for me to process. But here it is. It's now February, I think. Okay, I'm back. And the, um, yeah, the recording broke again. Uh, this time, I ran out of space. So, new SD card, everyone. Yay. Okay, let's get this. This is the trouble in recording 4K. Uh, this might not be 4k once it's uploaded to youtube but this is 4k and wow <laughs> but let's get back to the video you know oh i can see it but i can't i don't know how we open it oh wait am i dumb or something 
you pull the oh. off camera moments. Oh. There you go. Look, it's like nicely packaged. It's like this. So this is probably refurbished. It looks very brand new. It's in a bag. So that's pretty good. My first time holding a HP calculator. It might not be a HP calculator. We'll find out. I'll check the serial number. So, as you can see, we've got our USB cable as advertised. And that's it. Uh, here it is, the, the calculator itself. And the screen it looks bigger than I thought it was. So, let's, let's just check to see if it's actually real. So, made in China, obviously made in China. Um, uh, compiles with it, oh yeah. Uh, the URL, reset button. And under this flap, there should be... Under this flap, uh, yeah, we've got the backup battery. Uh, the memory backup battery, do not remove, uh, yep. So I do not know how to use these, so we won't get onto that. Batteries are not included, obviously, because, you know, it's almost impossible, you know, to ship those batteries. And let's open it up. This does not, like, feel well built at the moment. It might be just the case, but we'll find out. Let's open it up. Take the case off. Here it is, my new calculator. So at the moment, this looks like a genuine HP product. Oh no. Is this is supposed to be like that? The buttons are like. Hmm. These buttons are like. You can see they're kind of disaligned, as you can see. A bit disaligned. They work, but. Oh wait, they're, they're tilted, the buttons are tilted. Oh uh, yeah, all of them are. I think this is a design, what HP must have chose. These buttons, they have some, you know. These do, yeah, these do feel nice. Yeah, it's because they're tilted. Sorry guys, it's not damaged. <laughs> Just, it's tilted. But it looks, it looks really cool tilted and it has a nice tactile uh, feeling to it, which I pretty, I like actually, I like pretty much. And yeah, feels pretty good. And yeah, it was the case what made it, you know, poor quality feeling. So I suppose this is a dot ma matrix screen, yeah, maybe. So yeah, you got USB port and you got the uh, the ID ID ID. What? <laughs> I do not know what that other port is for. So here it is. It looks looks pretty well made actually. Um, oh yeah, it's got rubber feet so you can have it standard up and actually yeah, this this might be legit. And there's the on button. Yeah, I think that's the on button, the power on button. Uh, what's that? I'll zoom it in for you guys. So you can have a close look. Like this is legit. So I suppose this uses AA batteries or AAA batteries. I don't know which one's which, the small one and the big one, but it's a small battery. So I will be back and I'll get some and we can see if this works. Okay, finally got batteries and um <laughs> hope it's enough. I don't have any don't have a battery for the backup battery yet. So, it turns out these are AAA batteries. So, most people call them heaven warning. A's! Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what they are. It's a meme. And um, <laughs> here we go. We've got some AAA batteries. So, <laughs> I know how these go in. One battery. And then another battery. So we can prove to you guys that it's actually still working. Uh, www.hp.com forward slash calculator, if I'm correct. So let's put the battery cover on and let's hope and beg that this thing works. Because, well, what do you know? It, well, <laughs> it says memory clear, obviously, because the memory's gone. And I'm just going to check if you can, yep, you can see this perfectly fine. Yeah. Wow, this tripod mount thing is very good. So, the screen is actually very clear, as you can see. Uh, the calculator just turned off, turned on by itself. 
Uh, we use these purple buttons so we can, you know, navigate like this. So let's press OK. Wow, I don't know how to use this calculator. So I do not know how to use this. Like, can I do a sum? Oh, look, we've got one plus, uh, what? That's an arrow. Ooh, <laughs> 11, enter. Wow, I do not know. And it's got a little thing up the top. A little, I don't know what it's called. Damn it. <laughs> there's a thing, a button. Uh, as you can see, if I can move it a bit, um, there's a button. Notepad. Notepad. <laughs> so has this thing got notepad on it? Well, I know it's got a leather, you know, it's got a nice keyboard. So let's turn it off. Um, I suppose what we do is we... Um, Press shift, I suppose. No, there's a home button here. Let's press the home button. Uh, I'll show you it. There it is, a home button. Let's press that home button and see what it does. It does nothing. Okay, uh, then we have this button. Stop, answer. No, I do not. This is too, like, mass for me. Yeah. But this is probably legit, actually. Warning symbol. When you click on it, there's a warning symbol probably saying like, no, that's the wrong button. Well, I know this is a official HP product now because it looks like a official HP product. How do we? Oh, shift. Okay, shift. Off. Nope. There we go. Now it's turned off. So let's turn it back on. Uh, press it again. There we go. Turns back on. Oh, that's. Oh, look, it's back to where we were so maybe this is like a sleep mode thing but how do we actually turn it off i really need to figure this out a bit guys um oh we got this maybe we press shift then home ah there we go home modes so we have some settings the screen is very nice on this thing i'm not going to lie yeah decimals angles so you use the buttons here. Yeah, I can tell this is an official uh, product. Uh, oh, look, the Outlook button. Oh, that's the interesting thing. Okay. Function notes. Function notes? Uh, what? Oh, here we are. Outlook library. Ah, uh, we have our apps, as you can see. Uh, the space available. So I suppose these are built in, as you can see. Uh, we basically got some programs. And with the USB port, we can put our own programs on, which is pretty fun. So we've got, I think this is a game. Yeah, I think this is a game. Let's go ahead and let's click on the start button. There it is. It ran a program. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. I think, I'm sorry, guys. I think I have to read through the manual. Holy crap, but... I know this this is gonna work oh so this is home oh okay so let's go on uh, this uh, trick explorer and we have this magical pattern my map just turned off turned on for some reason this frame rate is like amazing for a calculator <laughs> Oh man. So when do we press and hold the off button? Shift and then just I'm pressing and holding the off button. Uh no, I suppose it just goes back to the state, doesn't it? Well Yeah. Um <laughs> how do we do sums on this? At least. How do we at least do sums on this thing? Uh we got the applet library. You know, well oh look yay games S scream smart if that says that uh triangle solve this must be a game fill three out of the six values enter lengths of size side a so this is like a mass game <laughs> don't worry you can play your own games on this put you know port your own applications doom plays on this thing i'm not kidding so you can basically enter things. I suppose it's just a little math game. <laughs> so, and then you've got solve. In, yeah, valid. Because I, I do not know anything about math except for one plus one. I don't even know how to even, like, 
yeah, I don't even know how to do your mass calculation. This is so complex. Uh, what about this button? Nums? No, no, no. Uh, let's go home. And go to nums. Nope, nope. <laughs> okay, I, I'm guessing we are on a program at the moment. We need to exit the program. Nope, that just gives us that little warning sign. So I suppose we do shift. Uh, shift home home modes it just gives us home modes oh no that's uh num no <laughs> i do not know how to do this wow sam doesn't know how to use a fancy calculator okay let's try one plus this is not a calculator okay it is a calculator. I just need to get used to it. So, um, let's see if we got, like, you know, have we got any maths pro solve? Oh, right. Oh, wow. You can scroll through pretty fast. Solve. So maybe this app is a calculator app. Let's see if it <laughs> solve symbol view. What? I am confused. I am so confused. Edit. No. Nope. Cancel. <laughs> I suck at calculators, guys. Hey, solve. Oh, this might be the calculator. Oh, okay. Delete. Yep. Deleting things. Answer. Nope. <laughs> One. Uh, what? Okay, 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 okay. I think I've used these calculators before. So one, and then plus enter. And then I think you put your second number in. No. Okay. Well, I suppose you guys in the comments must... <laughs> I think you guys have to tell me how you can at least do some maths on this thing. Hey, but we got some programs on here. So we've got Notepad. Let's see what Notepad does. Note cat cat catalog. I don't know. Oh, maybe you do alpha. No, this is not a notepad, guys. Oh, look, new and okay, new, new note. Oh, this is a notepad. This is epic. <laughs> uh, we got four, but we don't want four. We want letters, don't we, guys? So, uh, we do alpha, and then look, we can do K. Nope, that's P. L Q. Q what? Q R. Use at the bottom. What? So confused. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. So that's V. Oh my gosh. Let me show you. So this letter here. Letter H. This is the H button. That's the D button. I really need to get used to this. I really need to get used to this. Sorry, I put my finger in the camera. Okay, let's try this out. So let's delete all this text. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's type in an M. So let's type in M. No, no, no. That's not M. Let's try that again. There we go. M. Okay. So, I suppose this is R. Yay! <laughs> okay, so after uh, playing around the calculator, I've actually got used to it. Now I know the basics and how to do a sum. So, let's turn the calculator on. And I am going to zoom in to the screen so you can see it clearly. So, here's the screen. Let's turn it on. So, I just press the on button and there it is. I now know how to do a sum. It's very easy, just like my old calculator. I will compare my old one. It's a very bad one uh, by Casio. Casio, they make very good calculators, but I like this one. I prefer this one better. So let's do one plus one. And as you can see, now I've actually got it working. So we can do, you know, we can do minus, you know, do dividing and all that stuff. Uh, divide looks like that for some reason. So one plus one. 
and uh, there we go it actually works i've got used to this thing at home um you know i was confused i was like that's not home that's a weird program well uh, it turns out that home is actually the calculator's menu i was the whole time i was on the calculator's menu uh, well it's um, solve is basically the calculator's default menu program so this app look button here takes us to the you know like probably the you know the apps menu so you can scroll through you know all of your apps you know so i can scroll through apps and then you know i've got the space up here so i can you know use that usb port to put some programs on uh you know games and fun stuff <laughs> so let's go home uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's press that uh home button so uh press that and the home basically takes us uh back to that soul screen which is as you you know as you know it's basically the home screen of the calculator you know the calculator basically so you know we can do five plus five we can do another sun if we want another sun there you go ten it works clear um as you can see but how do you clear all of this well i've actually read the manual and you just press this and then you can click on clear so shift clear and boom done so i know how oh sorry about that okay i now know how to use this calculator i'm probably gonna leave it off um leave it off here maybe um i might make a part two or something you know about the applets and all that stuff yeah i might do that uh, this year in 2021 yeah so 2021 uh which is this year obviously we are going to be making in a couple of months i'm going to be making a video showcasing some fun applets for this calculator and uh, that is going to be so fun so uh let me just leave it off with me doing a calculation so let's get the calculator in position so let's uh showcase this so i'm gonna show you how to turn it off shift off there we go turn it back on and let's do one plus one enter and boom we've got one plus one uh let's do something harder so let's do uh four times five and uh, I'm guessing you guys know what this is. Uh, I think this is 20. So let's go ahead and enter that in. There we go, 20. So it works. Uh, as you can see, 20. And also my maths is uh, actually not bad for once. So uh, before I wrap this video off, I am just going to uh, show <laughs> just give you guys a comparison with my old Casio calculator. And uh, yeah, let's um, get to that part. Okay, so I've got my pink uh, Casio calculator. The screen on this thing is very small. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a basic screen, you know, it's not dot matrix or anything. So it's very, very limited. So all it can do this thing is graphs, but very limited graphs because it only has like probably 10 kilobytes of memory, even less maybe. And, oh, I forgot. It's, um, it can only do sums. Yeah, you know. I gotta say, these are very strong calculators. This thing has been through a lot of wear. You can't even see the screen uh, because this thing is so bad. But the HP, <laughs> the HP uh, 39GS, you can actually see it. You know, perfectly fine. Uh, unfortunately, this calculator does not have its serial number uh, sticker on the back, so it might be a fake. But I don't think it's a fake. I believe it's not a fake. Um, but if the applets video comes out, then we know it's not a fake. We can actually put some applications on. So let's compare this. Let's first of all do a um, a boot test. But I will turn on the flash on the camera so you can see the screens a bit better. So let me do that real quickly. I've turned on the flash. You probably can't see this screen, but you can see this one because uh, it's very clear. So let me just do one plus one on here. So you can see this is one plus one. Uh, now I click on enter and boom two so I'm gonna zoom in uh, just a bit you know I'll zoom in uh, the tripod uh, real quickly and let's do one plus one this screen by the way is extremely small compared to this calculator I definitely prefer the HP and these things are actually the same prices yeah, I'm not joking. So you can get a better calculator, you know, just some slow shipping. Yeah, it literally 
took like months no not months it only took about three weeks to arrive which is all right you know i can wait that you know long for a better calculator so let's click on there there we go two so they do the same things but you know this calculator's actually got more features you know you can put your own stuff on it play games and do a lot of fun stuff so i would definitely recommend you guys picking up these calculators i will have in the description below to help that seller out you know i will link his uh, listing so you guys can buy a really great calculator for a great price and i totally recommend this uh, uh, page and i will give a, a good review because this is a great calculator i will i will test it off camera you know everything's working and then you know i'll see if i can give him a good review but anyway uh, before i leave it off again i'm also gonna show you that notepad program i actually got that working and it's very 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 good so let's turn these calculators off and then we can demonstrate that notepad program okay so it has been a week since i have recorded the last clip uh with this calculator so i've had a play around with it but before I give you my final thoughts, I just want to show you that notepad program. So I press the on button and as you can see, I've actually put some programs on it. I finally figured out how to put programs on. So I'm going to show you some, but I do want to show you the um, notepad program before I do that. Let me just uh, zoom it in for you guys. And uh, look at that, say password unlocked. So I can enter my password, as you can see, which is uh, 2005. So you now know what my password is, but that's just the example password. I will change it. But 2005, boom, unlocked. So uh, the calculator is unlocked. So let's go ahead and press the shift and then notepad button. Uh, there's a thing called note catalog. This is where you store your notes, the home page. Uh, this receive button allows you to um, receive notes and you can also send notes to your computer. Um, so let's click on new. So uh there's this button here what says a and then dot 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 z and it allows you to stay on the alpha so it's very convenient so you don't have to keep on pressing the alpha key so you can just do you know letters um it's pretty cool so i can name this something like a b c or something press ok once we've done that uh you still got that button so as you see you can write a note as you can see so let me go ahead and write a note so uh t e s and then t so test and if i go out of that and uh, go back to notepad as you can see it's saved as abc i can also save it now so it's edit and boom there it is okay so before i give you guys my final thoughts i just want to show you some applications so there's this cool application called Jukebox, which is a jukebox, so you can actually play music on this calculator. Yes, I didn't know this when I brought this calculator. It actually has a built-in buzzer and speaker. So let's load it up. And uh, let's play songs. So let's play um, Star Wars. Hopefully you can hear that, but literally it's very, very cool. So to exit the song, um, as you can see, it already done it. Uh, you got the Simpsons. Some short little songs. So then there's uh, just one more I want to show you, and uh, it's called um, Security. So it's a password lock, uh, like I showed you. So you can set a password. If I enter any old password, uh, it won't work because it's the incorrect password. So, it's very good if you want to keep it safe, you know, from your friends, you know, just mucking about in your uh, personal calculator. You can edit your password uh, in here in the project's um, code. And I've also learned uh, that you can scroll like this and you can literally uh, show your previous mass uh, sums. As you can see, these are the previous um, mass questions I've done. So this is a really great calculator. Um, unfortunately, though, when I was testing it at school, I found like a bug, like literally living in the screen. Maybe it's because 
uh, during shipment and all that stuff, you know, maybe like a bug came in or something. Before I go, I just want to uh, tell you uh, that, well, I might know why this is so cheap. Uh, first of all, it doesn't have a serial number on it. Uh, the HP logo is slightly dodgy. There's a bug in the screen. Uh, you know, the button, some of the bu button, some of the buttons are uh, a bit wonky, you know, uh, the back button is, um, well, on light presses, sometimes it doesn't actually respond. So, this might be like a, um, well, kind of a half, uh, fully working but defective unit, you know, it may have not passed its, uh, quality control, and that's probably why it was so cheap, you know, or maybe they made them, um, you know, on when, you know, at closing times, um, and sold them for cheap prices. So, maybe that's why, but anyway, um, I suppose that's it for that calculator. I will promise, uh, to make later in this new year a video showcasing some cool programs for this calculator and also how to install those programs because it's actually pretty hard when you first do it but now it's actually easy and there's a tool which is it's well kind of rare on the internet now because they, they don't really support it it's very old but it only works on windows 7 and yeah windows 7 and later anyway i want to thank you a lot uh for watching this uh video um, it's about 30 minutes long, but I just want to, um, I really appreciate all the support and all that stuff. So, if you have any suggestions of videos I should do next, uh, feel free to drop a comment about that, or any comment you would like to put down. And, uh, if you like the video, then you know what to do, just press the like button. But if you don't like the video, then, I mean, well, there's a dislike button for that. So, thanks for watching uh, this uh, video, uh, make sure you don't miss the next video as it's going to be a very, very big um, video. Uh, it's going to be short but it's going to be a very good one. Uh, it's a product from Microsoft I am reviewing. Um, this is not sponsored by the way so remember that, but it's going to be very exciting. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave it off there and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.